welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to be showing part one of my squishy collection. On my channel I review a bunch of different toys and this is one of my favorites. So a little background info on squishies. They're basically these Japanese fun cute squishy toys that relieve stress and can help people with autism. These toys are just very very therapeutic and a lot of people including myself like to collect them. So I have a pretty big squishy collection, so this is going to be put into a few parts. So yeah, let's just get on with the video. So I separated all of my squishies out into categories. So the first category that I'm going to be showing today is my eye blooms, which is the pretty big iconic brand for squishies. Super soft, um, super cute, and fun to play with. So first I have this... Um, plain marmo bear, this gray and white mic pan cable, I have this orange and white mic pan cable, I have this strawberry marmo bear um, ice cream sandwich, I have this galaxy harajuku bear macaroon, I have this millie the whale chigiri, This green melon pan. I have this cotton candy Nyan cat pancake. Some of my squishies are in packaging and some of them are out of packaging. I have this sheet cream puff. This mini um, Gekikawa macaroon. Did not know how to pronounce that, so I apologize. I have this super defected, like you can see all of the cracks on this, um, Rainbow Bagel. This is one of the older eye blooms, um, and I use it a lot as my own personal stress squishy. So yeah, but it is eye bloom, which is why I included it in the video. I have this Jumbo Marmo Crepe. Here's this one. So um, I have the full set of the original Marmo Bear ice cream sandwiches. Um, and this is the mint chocolate one. So as you can see in the back, I have mint, plain, and strawberry. I have both of these adorable little uh, squid octopuses. Um, so we have the boy version and the girl version. Little bow, super cute. I have this eye bloom croissant. Very soft. And I kept it in its original packaging because I just love the way it looks. And then I have this Marmo UFO, and this one is also pretty defected. Um, I did get this one in a trade though, and I just kept it out of packaging, but it is super, super soft. And FYI guys, if you would like to trade with me, I am more than happy to do that. I love trading. Um, my, you can either comment in the comment section under this video, or you can um, go over to my Instagram, which will be linked in the description. And lastly, I believe these are my only, my only eye blooms left in this bin. Um, I have these sushis. So I have this salmon one, I believe. The packaging is open, which sucks. And then I have this salmon one. Super cute. So those are all of my eye bloom squishies. Next, I'm going to move on to Punimaru. So now that we've cleared the board, I'm going to show my Punimaru squishies. So I don't have a lot of Punimaru in this bin, but overall I do have a good amount of Punimaru squishies. So in my next uh, video, which would be part two of my squishy collection, you'll see way more Punimarus in that video. My first Punimaru is this Jumbo Cheeky um, Lemon. If you hear that in the background, I'm sorry, my dad talks pretty loud. <laughs> but this is super squishy, and as you can see, I definitely use this one as a stress squishy as well due to all the defects on it. Next one that I have is this adorable Jumbo Lion Mochi Seal. And it smells like dove soap. I don't know if you know 
don't know if you guys know what that smells like, but it's a really nice scent, fresh scent. And then I have this jumbo roasted marshmallow. And this one is actually counted as a rare squishy because they don't make these anymore. And they're pretty hard to find now. And I wish I still had its original packaging because then it would be much higher value. But this is also a really good stress squishy. Next, I have this, um, I don't know if this is Punimaru. It says Toy Box Shop, but I just put it in here because it just reminds me of the Punimaru. Um, but it's this Jumbo Rainbow Blueberry and it is so soft and slow rising. Absolutely love that one. And the last one that I have for my Punimarus right there, is this mini panda mochi seal. Super cute. So those are all of my Punimaru squishies. Um, next, I'm going to move on to my Misk, which is just random brands that I don't have a lot of. So first off, I have this Tweety Bird Head Squishy. I have this Joker Squishy, which is super cute. And my friend actually won these um, from a carnival, I believe. And she put them up for sale, and so I snatched them. This one is actually really hilarious, and I just got it as a joke. <laughs> um, but it's this Eric Sausage Squishy, and it is so soft and slow rising. This is also um, another stre bleh, stress squishy that I use. But I know it's kind of weird to have one of those in your collection. This is a very big squishy. It almost doesn't fit in the camera. Um, it's this big seal. I don't know the brand name, but it's very dense, but slow rising at the same time. Next, I have this adorable little cake roll. I can't read Japanese or Korean or whatever language that is, but this is such a cute squishy and I absolutely love it. Definitely one of my favorites. Next, I have this squishy. Now, I think I got this as an extra in a purchase that I did, um, but it is so weird and I had to repackage it because it reeks of onion, but I somehow still have it in my collection, which is pretty weird, but it's very slow rising. And I believe this is also by the brand Eric. Ooh, I can smell it. When I squish it, the scent just bursts through the packaging and it's just not lovely. Next, I have another one of my favorite squishies. This is a Cutie Creative brand and it's the mustard condiment bottle. And they also came out with a ketchup and a mayo bottle, which I really want to add into my collection. So if anyone has those, you know what to do. <laughs> Next, I have this pack of Grimms of Grinwald and Niffler squishies, I believe that's what they are. Um, and it's a little set and it comes with four of these little fluffy creatures. I've never watched this show or movie or film, whatever, but I just really like the squishies, so got them. Next, I have these two squishies. Um, they are from The Odd Ones Out. Um, so these are like two of the characters. I think it's like a YouTube series. I'm not too sure, but the squishies are absolutely adorable. So I have that one and this angry one. And then I also have this one, which I just saw out of the corner of my eye, my giant pile of squishies. Um, one that is still in its packaging and it's this little moth character, I believe. And these are all of the ones that you can get. And I actually have this one as well, which is the little cat. There's like the little moth character, and then here's the little cat. Next, I have this like anime head bun squishy. I don't know what anime this is from. I don't really watch anime, um, but I guess I just bought it for some reason. It's pretty squishy. Next, I have this super tiny squishy, and this is actually by the brand J Dream, which I used to collect, but this is, I think, the only one I have left from that. Um, but they're these little cinnamon rolls and they're actually squishy. 
I mean, I don't know if the camera catches that, but they're actually tiny little squishy cinnamon buns and that is just absolutely adorable. Next is this uh, Harry Potter squishy. I believe this came in a pack at like Party City or something, I don't know, but I just got it in a squishy bundle that I purchased from someone and it's like a little Hufflepuff logo. It's super cute. Next, I have this squishy, it's like a little ice cream. Um, I believe I purchased this from someone and they said it was rare, but I don't know. I'm not really one to know about rare squishies, but I do, however, know that this little guy right here is very rare. I spent about, I think, 90 bucks on this one. Um, I bought him off of a seller who's based in Hong Kong and apparently this is a vintage eye bloom tadpole squishy. I'm not going to squish him too much because apparently he's rare, but look at those little eyes. They're so cute. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop that now. Now, this one I know is not, like my channel is completely kid-friendly, but this one isn't that kid-friendly, so um, cover your eyes if you're under 13. <laughs> but this is a little peach butt uh, squishy with like a little thong on it, and it's just ridiculous, and so I had to buy it, but it's not that squishy whatsoever, but I just thought that was hilarious and I just had to get it. And now down to my last two random squishies that I have in this bin. I have this little Hug Me Bear Moshlo and I think these are by the brand Nick. I'm not too sure. I used to have tons of those, but then I got rid of them. Next, I have this Poli um, in a stocking and it is so soft. I love it. He's pretty big. He doesn't really fit in the camera. And then lastly, I have this adorable little mushroom from Minecraft. Minecraft is one of the games that I love to play. So when I saw that Minecraft came out with squishies, I was like, I gotta get them. And I do have a lot more of these, which you guys will be seeing in the next part. But yeah, those are all of my random squishies. Next, I'm going to be showing my homemade squishies or deco squishies, which basically means that someone else painted them or created them from scratch. And I absolutely love purchasing from small businesses and people who create their own stuff. I just love it. So some of these I have made, which I will state whenever I show them, but most of them are from other artists. So first I'm going to start with um, one of my favorite artists to purchase from and support, Squishy Boba Forever. I'm going to link her Instagram as well as her shop and YouTube in the description below. But I absolutely love the quality of her squishies. They are just amazing and most of the time she makes them from scratch and I just love that. The first squishy is this one and it's pretty huge so I have to literally bend over my camera to put it to make it fit into the frame. But if you don't know what this character is, this is the doll from the Netflix series Squid Game, which just became super popular. So when I saw that she made this, I was like, yeah, I'm going to need that. Um, but this is such an adorable squishy. I love how she added the cute kawaii little effect on it, even though this thing kills people. <laughs> um, but I absolutely love the squishiness and the texture of this girl. She's just amazing. And then this next one is also from Squishy Boba Forever. I believe I have one other one made by her in this bin. But this is also from another movie, which I absolutely love. I think it's the only kind of anime that I've ever watched. If you don't know what the movie Ponyo is, it's basically this adorable little like goldfish guy. And then he like turns into a human. It's adorable. Just look it up. You'll love it. Um, but this is the ramen bowl. Um, one of the things that Ponyo loves to eat is ham. Um, and so when he was rescued, um, I don't want to get into the entire movie and spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it. But basically ramen is one of his favorite foods. So this squishy is amazing so soft the crinkles of this packaging are so loud so i'm like kind of screaming but i absolutely love this squishy and the last one that i have made by her is this 
cream puff, which is actually a pumpkin. And I think this was inspired off of the Sammy the Past to a Pumpkin Cream Puff because this is just way better because it's made from scratch. So next, these two are from a very realistic artist. Um, her name is Tabete. I will also link that, her Instagram down in the comments. Anyone who I have purchased homemade squishies from or deco squishies from, I will post their information in the description. So make sure to check that out. But she is very unique with her squishy style. So unfortunately, one of the eyes on this guy fell off, but it's interesting because the eyes were actually painted on the packaging that the squishy is in. Um, and they're not connected to the actual squishy. Um, but this is a red M&M, if you couldn't tell already, and it's a peanut M&M. And I'm gonna, cover my name there but um she made a cute adorable little tag for it um and this is her her logo and there's a cute little sticker on that which I think is from Charlie Brown it's just so cute and so soft and I love it and then we did a cute little deco swap one Christmas because I also create deco squishies of my own now I'm not good at it whatsoever which is why I usually purchase them from, from other artists, but I did a cute little Christmas deco swap with this, um, with her, and um, she made me this one, which is absolutely adorable. So here's the tag, I covered my name out as four, and this is the name of the squishy that she created. And this is it, and it has like a little bow with a little bell, and it's just completely like Christmas themed. This I think was created, like this holly, I think was created by um, Puffy Paint, which is absolutely adorable. And it's just so nice. But this one is Grumpy Cat and so freaking cute. There's like a little shrinky dink charm. And I forgot who I purchased this from, um, but it's absolutely adorable and very, very well made. I give full credit to whoever created that one. I'm not gonna go this whole video without showing one that I have made. It literally sucks, so please no hate comments because I know how bad this is. But basically, I turned a soft and slow eyeball squishy into this Asian pear squishy. And it's super soft. Like, it literally looks like it's about to explode when you squish it and the air just comes out, but it's very squishy. I, I don't know how many layers of paint I put on this thing, but it's just insane. Yeah, that's just an example of one of the squishies that I've made. Don't judge. I'm gonna end part one here. Make sure you stay tuned for part two. I'll most likely have four parts, but I'm gonna try and even them out so people get a chance to watch part one. But yeah, I really hope you guys love my content so far. I'm new to YouTube. I don't know like, you know, all of the techie stuff that you like you do with YouTube and all of that. Um, but I'm basically just doing this for fun and sharing my passions um, and, you know, my collections with all of you guys. So please like, subscribe, leave a comment, anything. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.